This is 5 Minutes with NetApp, data protection using on-command unified manager and workflow automation. I'm Jeff Asher, and I'm a principal architect focused on clustered data on tap transitions here at NetApp. To set the stage for our demo, here we see a typical cluster. We have an HA pair with flash pools for high performance applications, and we have an HA pair with SATA for dense data storage. But we want to kick things up a notch, so we add an AFF for extreme performance. We put our first workload on it and test it, and everything's running great. Then we apply a second workload to the AFF, and then a third. And pretty soon, these volumes or LUNs start to get out of control. We didn't really have a plan for them once we put them on the AFF. We just wanted them to run really fast. I may have used NDO to move some things over, and if I had used NDO to move volumes over that already had protection policies, everything's great. Uh, or maybe I did LUN move, uh, flex clone, uh, some other NetApp feature. But anyway, everything's going great on the AFF, but there might be something missing, and that's data protection. So to add data protection, we want to protect these volumes using either Snap Mirror or Snap Vault. And I've created eight volumes that you see here that we're going to use for our demo. Now, I don't want to go through a bunch of repetitive CLI commands or repetitive clicks through System Manager, and I want to protect all of these using just a single action. To do that, I'm going to use a couple of pieces of software from the on-command portfolio. I'm going to use on-command unified manager and workflow automation. Now, you may be familiar with on-command unified manager and workflow automation already. Unified manager discovers and monitors clusters, policies, and objects. While workflow automation does just what its name implies, it streamlines our IT operations by automating certain workflows. Used together, we use the policies that Unified Manager has discovered and we apply those policies to objects or groups of objects using workflow automation. I'm monitoring four clusters across two sites using this on-command Unified Manager server. And here you can see I have 205 unprotected volumes that UM has discovered. And I want to do something about that. So I go up here to protection and unprotected volumes. And here I can see all the volumes that don't have Snap Mirror or Snap Vault enabled. And the ones I'm doing for this demo are all part of the same storage virtual machine. And I'm going to filter based on that. And the storage virtual machines, Bender San Demo, and here are the volumes that I talked about before. And you'll notice that these are not empty volumes. I wanted this to be as real life as I could. So I'm going to select all the volumes at once, and I'm going to protect using Snap Mirror. Now this comes up, and I go to my Snap Mirror tab, and I select my destination cluster. So I'm on Bender now. I want to replicate to Flexo. I want to choose a storage virtual machine. I'm going to use SAN Test 1. Uh, the naming convention is just fine. Uh, choose my Snap Mirror policy, and then choose my schedule, and then I submit. So now that I've kicked this job off, here's what's going on behind the scenes. First, we submit the execution request to WFA, and immediately after that, we start to track the workflow progress. These two things start at about the same time. Then WFA takes over. It first checks licenses, loads the protection policy, creates peering if needed, creates the destination volume, and then it creates the Snap Mirror or Snap Vault relationship. Then, Unified Manager rediscovers the destination cluster. It needs to find the new destination volume and make sure that Snap Mirror has been applied and that everything is working the way we planned. Here's what it looks like in WFA. If I go to Execution and then double-click one of these, I bring up the uh, workflow details. And I can see that I went through the steps that I had on the slide where it checked the licenses through policy through creating the Snap Mirror relationship. And if I go back over to Unified Manager and refresh this list, I can see that all of my jobs are now complete. Now if I come back to my UM dashboard, I can see that I now have 197 unprotected volumes as opposed to 205. And if I go to Protection, uh, Unprotected Volumes, and apply that same filter again, where I use Bender... No data is found because they're all protected. Everything's going great. In this video, you learned how WFA and Unified Manager can make your life easier by automating repetitive storage tasks. If you have any feedback 
or any ideas for more videos, please send them to me, jasher at netapp.com, or you can follow me on Twitter at AsherJG. Look forward to the next video. Thanks.